Can you talk about the significance, when you say, of not playing into their hands, what you mean? Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, ISIS has, has for a long time, uh, had no real challenge uh, to its state and to its kind of military power. Uh, the United States has been bombing uh, infrequently since August 2015 and hitting all kinds of targets, which I'm not sure have very much strategic value. Uh, civilians have been killed. This is, of course, uh, exactly what exacerbates frustration and anger uh, in parts of the world, perhaps draws more recruits for ISIS. There's been no actual well-worked-out strategy in how to deal with ISIS. I, just to give you a little example, you know, when ISIS seized Palmyra, the United States uh, and other powers, other regional powers, refused to provide close air support to the Syrian troops that were amassed around Palmyra for fear that if they got involved in providing close air support, they would uh, be charged with backing the Assad government. Or, indeed, uh, when the Turkish government, who has a very different understanding of terrorism, strikes at Kurdish uh, camps, where these Kurds have been at the front line of the war against ISIS, there is an incoherence in the response to ISIS at the same time as merely going and bombing Raqqa, as the French have done again, is really not going to uh, put any pressure on them. In fact, the opposite. It might indeed draw more recruits to them. Uh, it might uh, enable them to champion their own audacity.